Hello, Tracy Blick, Christchurch Food Bank. Ah, oh, hi Sarah, how are you? Yeah, yeah, come and have a coffee now. See you in a bit. Bye. Hi. Hi Tracy, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, isn't it lovely to just have a quiet coffee without people looking at us? Anyway, how's it been? It's been really busy. Do you know we've done 13,984 food parcels during COVID? Wow, that's amazing, because in the eight years, prior to COVID, we did just under 20,000. And that, yet you've done 13,984 in 18 months. That's amazing. Yeah. We couldn't have done it without the generosity of the community. No, no, they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah, but, but there's always stuff that we do need. We always need tinned fruit, pasta sauce, fray bentos pies. Oh, I love a fray bentos pie. And cash. Cash, cash is amazing. Because of the cash donations we've had, we've been able to give everybody fresh fruit and vegetables. And families have had a lunch bag with bread, butter, ham, cheese. It's lovely. Wow. And we're still giving out that fresh stuff, aren't we? Yes. Oh, yeah. Amazing. That is such a blessing. Such a blessing. And prayer. We always need prayer. Obviously for our volunteers, our team, and for the visitors. And we, it was amazing to see how many people we prayed for during COVID. That was so wonderful. It was wonderful to share and pray. And yeah, I love that. Absolutely. So what has been your highlight? Mm. So my highlight had to have been a young man that we had. Um, who was sofa surfing, first of all, and he used to come just for the odd bit of food. And then as a team, we managed to help him get into a house. Then we furnished that house through the furniture bank. We um, took him to interviews. We provided him with shoes and, and a suit and nice trousers, and he got the job. And now I think my highlight is the fact that a year on, he now has the responsibility of locking up and opening up the shop he's working That's in. That's amazing. And month in, month out, he gets employer of the month. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't, isn't that it? lovely? It is, and he calls us his family because we're the only family he's got. What about you? What's your highlight? I think mine's probably a family that um, have been coming to the food bank quite regularly because they both lost their jobs in COVID. Mm. But actually, a couple of weeks ago, um, the family came and the girls bought a bag of food each saying that mum and dad have got their jobs back and now they wanted to support us. So that was really amazing. That really is amazing. lovely. Yeah. And actually, we've had quite a few of those, which is, yeah, that's wonderful, isn't it? I love the food bank. Oh, so, me too. Yeah. Mind you, we're much more than just food, aren't we? So the furniture bank has been as busier than ever. Our homeless drop in. So although they couldn't drop inside, they sat outside and had coffee after coffee after coffee. Um, and we chatted with them. Our money management has still been going on. And we were delivering um, hot meals throughout COVID, which was something new, which stopped last week. However, so exciting. <laughs> we have our new community supper. It's amazing, isn't it? And it's the first one at tea time, isn't it? Yeah, so all the community meals, and some of those haven't reopened, by the way. Um, all our community meals are at lunchtime. So we're the first one to do it in the evening. And what that enables people to do is it's those that are working, those families when they get in from school with their children, um, couples, single people, they can all come together. And the meal itself is about building community. Absolutely. So all those people that have been isolated and lonely, those people that haven't seen community for the last 18 months, they can come together and hopefully that's what it will do. It will build community again. Absolutely. And that's amazing. And that together with our new building. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about the new building. So the building's almost finished. They've renovated the whole of the chapel because obviously St. Joe's gave us the whole chapel, not just Brilliant. that little tiny bit. And it's going to mean that people can come in, sit down and we can help them on their whole journey. I'm until, looking forward yeah. to that. I bet you are. I bet you are actually spending time with people, um, real quality time and just learning about them, learning what they need. Uh, yeah, and it'd be great to open and let everyone come in and have a look. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Well, back to work. Excellent. Thanks for the coffee. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.